Hi guys and welcome to my budget Windows Phone BIOS guide. Ever since I started reviewing Windows phones, I get the same comments over and over again. Which one should I choose? The 640, 640 XL, the 830 or maybe right now since I just recently reviewed the 735 and I wanted to give all those people a help because I can't reply to anyone and I think it's also not the most helpful option because I thought I would just make a bias guide go through all the categories and if you saw one of my videos or if not here are the categories I will go through all of them give you my ranking my personal one because you asked for my opinion give you an overall winner and also give you the one I think which suits maybe some kind of certain use case the best I will start with the design and build quality as always and here my winner, my personal winner is the 735 and I said the same in the review and I just can't change my opinion because in terms of design, feel in hand and even build quality it is for me pretty much as a whole the perfect device. It is very compact in the hand, feels very substantial and it just is a joy and a pleasure to hold. That's why it's my winner. The second place for me would be the 830. It's actually built a little bit better because of the metal frame, but the ergonomics just aren't on the same level, but still it feels great in the hand. It feels very premium and you could for both charge easy double the money. The third in place would be the 640 XL. And why not the 640 but the 640 XL? Because I think if you already go for something a little bit less comfortable in the hand, let's just go all the way in get the 640 XL because I think personally the 640 is a little bit big for a 5 inch a little bit bulky and boxy and if I already have something like that I will just go for the big one the 640 XL that gives me just more screen real estate and is more useful in some kind of way but it's not like the 640 is bad it's also great it feels nice in the hand if you maybe choose the glossy or the matte finish I personally like the glossy one a little bit better because it feels smooth in the hand but all of those definitely are well built but the first two ones just are a little bit of a level higher so as for display my First choice here would be again the 745 but mostly due to the fact that it uses AMOLED. I just prefer the more vivid colors, the deeper blacks, the white was still okay and the viewing angles and all that. Maybe the sunrise readability wasn't the best but still totally fine and I don't use my phone so much in the sun so that's why it's my win. If you don't maybe like AMOLED so much anyways, then my second choice is the 830 because the qualities of the display are also very great, very nice, the blacks, no AMOLED level of course, also white, nice white and since we have color profiles on Windows phone, you can get quite saturated colors as well but also accurate if you want to. So that's why that is my, my second place. The third place goes to the 640XL and not the 640 because the 640XL in my opinion just had a little bit better overall qualities. It was a little bit brighter, the colors did pop a little bit more, seemed a little bit more saturated and the white was just better and the blacks as well. Not saying the one on the 640 is bad but it is the fourth place because it just can't quite keep up with the best ones here on top. So for the sound, here the winner is the 830 and the 830 for me it, it's all four are quite on a similar level but the 830 for me personally had the slightly most rich sound the highest volume and just overall best balance the second place then would be the 735 because also quite clear sound not that much of bass and not that high of a maximum volume as the 830 but still quite good then the sound level goes to the 640 and even though I said for the 640XL it is louder, I give the third place to the 640 because of the better placement of the speaker. Because it was on the bottom back and if I use my phone like this I reflect the sound anyways. But on the 640XL it was on the top and you had no reflection so the sound even more often sounded distant and going off from you. That is something I didn't like so much but if you use it like this also you have this reflection which as... Uh, for myself as one who uses his phone with the right hand wasn't that comfortable so I had either use it with both hands or use it with the left hand which just wasn't my type of style but otherwise the speaker itself of the 640XL is a little bit better but the third place go to the 640. In terms of performance very very similar and there's like a difference of maybe one or two percent because the only difference and the first and second place goes to the 640 and 640XL because those were 
absolutely smooth at all times even and that is the difference the 830 and 745 had not an issue but they had the one thing that when you tap the start button and go to the home screen there is pretty pretty much all the time this slight little stutter that just annoyed me a little bit over time the previous ones the 640 640xl don't have this for some reason otherwise the 745 for me maybe because due to the amulet seemed like it is slightly ever so slightly the smoothest but the performance itself is pretty much the same since they all use the same soc anyways in terms of the battery there's a really really easy winner the 640 xl it could last for me and my normal use actually three days even with two quite medium to heavy days even two days no problem and one monster heavy day i couldn't even kill it so that's why it's easy the best place the second place goes actually to the rest because they were very similar they all got pretty much four and a half hours maybe four hours in my normal task with the 745 even with a slightly higher brightness so i wouldn't i can't choose a winner between those because they are just too close to each other in terms of software the first place goes to the 640 and 640xl and you would say why is there actually a difference because they all use the same software not quite the 640 and 640xl both have glance and they both have double tap about uh, double tap on the navigation bar to turn off the screen that is for example one thing the 830 doesn't have the 830 has glance screen and even a slightly more detailed one as i noticed but it doesn't have double tap to sleep on the navigation bar which i actually tended to like but it's really a minor thing the 735 here is in some way the not the worst but the weakest because there is no glance something i really saw a lot of people having an issue as especially on the flagship the 930 then double tape was a little bit flaky it just didn't work always as you saw nothing happened okay actually it's right now turned up sorry and one thing was also there on the 745 the screen dimming for some reason even with a manual brightness setting it started to dim for some reason at points so 640 640xl is the best package in terms of software but for me it didn't make a difference because i could live without this it's, it's too close in terms of camera i give the win to the 640xl not just because the highest megapixel count but it had ois and it had really great pictures it had a little bit of trouble sometimes with the autofocus or so and the exposure was a little bit flaky but that was the case actually on all the lumias but slight winner here but otherwise a really really close second one even though just with i think 10 megapixels is the 830 and maybe if you see things a little bit different you could if even that one the winner because those are very very close personally i think actually the 10 megapixel of the 830 was a little bit sharper but you could give them both the first place actually they are so close it's really a minor thing and not really enough to make a difference then the 640 with the 8 megapixel camera very nice pictures very good so also close because there is no bad camera on the lumias because the weakest one here would be the 745 with the just 6.7 megapixel camera but therefore quite a good selfie cam if you bother about it i couldn't care less and actually don't think i really take did take a lot of pictures with the other ones i just just one or so just to see if it actually works but it is not bad enough or not not great enough on the 6 745 for me to make a difference i could have this as my main camera on my phone no problems here at all okay so let's get to the overall winner then and that's a very subjective thing i think because for me personally the 745 is the personal winner because mostly due to the amazing hand in feel in hand the great ergonomics the nice amoled display and it doesn't have the best speaker but they are so close that it does make a difference the performance is the same and the camera is still good enough for me that's why it wins for me then the winner the second place would be the 830 which actually for most people could be the best overall solution for the one reason that is built very great with the metal frame very solid also nice design so then has the slight advantages in terms of camera has glance so actually that should be the winner but it is not for me the third place goes to the 640xl but it doesn't mean it's actually third place because i think for a lot of people this could be 
like kind of the underdog winner because the 640XL for the money you pay just gives you the best value. You get the biggest screen with the best battery with a loud speaker and the great camera, maybe even slightly the best. So in terms of value, this will be my winner, but I will talk about that later. And the fourth place, not saying that it is bad or not recommendable because it is also, in terms of value, a great phone is the 640. It has a nice feel to the hand, still a good camera, still a good sound. The performance is the same. So you can't really, if you want a Windows phone for a, around $200 or a lot less because I saw even get it, uh, value prices for the 640 of below $100 and you can't really go wrong with either one. At least that's my personal opinion. So I will have a few mentions right now. Personal, I just want to mention it once again, best design and feel in hand goes to the 735. That's like some kind of mini award. Best value goes to the 640XL because the overall package delivers you so much for the money and I haven't seen such a complete package for this price yet. Then a really, really solid high premium overall would be the 830 because it is just the most premium. It's also the most expensive one, but it feels just, it feels the most expensive and premium one with the great camera, with the really, really solid and premium build quality. It is that title. And the 640 is a very great all-rounder. No real flaws, good battery life, also feels good, but it it's it's just of this bunch, the weakest one, because you notice the other ones just have in some categories high higher values for the price that you just have to get. But even the 640 is a great deal. I think I've covered pretty much all. If you still can't decide, leave me any comments, but to, uh, try at least to give me the possibility to answer because I get so many comments. I can't reply on and tagging for some reason never got me a response and I don't maybe people get the answer and don't reply back to me or they didn't get it so because they maybe don't use Google Plus or some kind of thing like that so I hope this guide was helpful I couldn't show off all the stuff because I only have the 735 right now 735 you can watch each specific review I will have them in the description below that shouldn't be a problem I think I've gave you all the information and if not, I think the review should cover the rest. And if you still can't decide, just leave me a comment. I will try to help you. But I think I've covered pretty much all. So that's why I'm going to say have a nice decision, even though it won't be an easy one for sure. But I'm pretty sure you can't really do much wrong anyways. Okay, until next time. Bye. I'll be back.